guys shalom shalom um i just wanted to let you guys know i'm not gonna try to predict the future because the scriptures say you know don't uh don't even think about tomorrow basically don't even worry about tomorrow cast all your cares upon the lord jesus christ for he cares for you he will take care of us but i do want to let you know as far as my finances as far as thinking about future family possibly and a wife you know which i i would rather be celibate quite honest uh for the sake of the kingdom of heaven i'm not concerned about a woman i don't really want a woman um although i've gone back and forth about this you guys have seen me go back and forth i'm an honest man of god i'm vulnerable i voice all of you know who i am basically because the scriptures say that the truth will set you free there's a lot of things i don't say too you know in wisdom because that's just wisdom as far as spiritual warfare and things of that nature but at the same time we're pretty vulnerable and honest so to be honest guys i'll be making some videos um still making videos but it it, it may very well um be not as much um because you know i'm focused on evangelizing from person to person in public you know person to person just like the lord jesus christ did just like paul did all those you know different men of god there's just something special about being personal with people in public and as i always like to say the ministry is not in the churches the ministry is out here in the public um and oh jesus hallelujah god hallelujah in jesus name amen and amen wow i'm a little distracted by this um traffic here but um yeah i am uh focused on evangelism i'm focused on you know uh deliverance you know the casting out of demons um the healing of the sick just letting the power of God flow through me the way that he wants to flow through me in public. I don't plan on what I'm going to do for the day. I just let him operate. But I'm concerned about the people. I'm concerned about evangelism. Um, I am concerned, you know, about the people and the kingdom of heaven. And I'm also taking some serious steps in my financial uh, life, you know, to save to think about you know uh going into full-time ministry praying about that um to to save enough to be able to make investments i've been talking to my brother who's a financial expert and he's working with me now as far as um you know possibly you know working towards saving enough to be able to invest you know what i mean and things like mutual funds and things like that that will basically enable me to either work less at a earthly job or maybe not at all to where I'm in full-time ministry and maybe I'll have people sewing into that and donating at some point because that's all I want to do is full-time ministry and I know the Lord's called me to that you know he's given me many talents as far as music is concerned you know a book that I may be writing he's given me a talent to draw as well you know there's just many things that i need the time for practically you know what i mean to be able to exercise all of those gifts that the lord jesus christ has put into me and so that's where i'm thinking financially i'm working towards a lot of things like i said saving investing just just, just my mind is everything that i do the why behind everything that I do is uh, focused into working towards more time out in the public here um, in full-time ministry and plugging into my local church. Got an exciting opportunity to go to the Dominican Republic in October or September. I can't remember which. That's not set in stone, but that's, you know, I'm going to be getting uh, working on towards ordering, ordering a passport in the next couple weeks uh, for that. Um, there's just a lot of things going on. It's not that I don't care about you guys, uh, but I didn't come for the uh, I didn't come for the well. I came for the sick, and um, you know I'm focused on the sick. I'm not focused on those who are well. You know, um, I was not sent, you know, for the well. I was sent for the sick. 
you know, and, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ speaking out of me, you know, uh, uh, that's his spirit speaking out of me just there, you know, that's not me, that was the Holy Spirit, and, uh, but he's one with me, you know, so in a sense, there, there's no difference when you have the Holy Spirit speaking out of you prophetically, there's no difference between you and him, your desire, as far as your desires are concerned, when you're in agreement with him, so that's why religious people don't understand us because the word of God will come out of us um, and maybe you don't say thus saith the Lord or something like that and all of a sudden people are like oh are you claiming to be Jesus Christ or oh, are you claiming to be John the Baptist or oh, are you claiming to be Peter you know just because you didn't say thus saith the Lord or whatever and I don't have time for religious Pharisees and those who are trying to judge the spirit of God because if he wants to speak directly out of my mouth whether I said, thus saith the Lord or not, if he's speaking, he's speaking. And if people think you're trying to claim to be God or whatever, you know, they want to assume, then let people. I'm not concerned about that. I'm just going to let the Lord speak out of me from now on, you know, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. But what I mean to say is, you know, just because I don't text you and, and just because I'm not engaged with you, calling you, texting you, things of that nature doesn't mean that I broke off from you as a brother or a sister I am fully invested in the kingdom of heaven you know and you know making financial investments for you know future family and full-time ministry and you know hopefully you know and, and just doing as much as I can to be able to exercise the talents that God has put within me uh, for the kingdom of heaven you know um, and it's not about how much you know what I mean but it's about your heart, of course. Um, but I'm going to try to use every talent that I have for the kingdom of heaven according to the resources that I have and be responsible, you know, with my money and my time and do as much as I can within reason of human, you know, capability and the human limitation that I have as a mortal being. You know, I, I'm not really, as I said, I'm not focused on the well as much. If you've got the Holy Spirit and you're good, I'm probably not really going to be engaging a whole lot because I'm focused on those that don't know the gospel, that aren't well, you know. So all that being said, I just wanted to give kind of a prerequisite, uh, I don't know if that's the right word, but kind of like a preface um, to my absence, you know, in a sense, uh, because I enjoy to communicate with you guys my brothers and sisters and I genuinely love and care about you with a very deep everlasting love that's not my own and I just wanted to voice that you know I probably won't be on social media as much probably less and less I'm not going to try to predict the future either because God may just have me you know on here a lot you know as well but you know I just feel quite strongly in my spirit that you know as I'm focused on my responsibilities and especially if I have family in the future, I'm not really going to be on social media, you know, as much. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to be focused on, you know, what he has me focused on. And uh, it's not a personal thing, you know, if I don't engage with you. Um, so all that being said, I love you guys. Uh, please repent of your sins. This is not a time to play with God. If you can't stop sinning, you probably have... Um, an unclean spirit that's attached itself to your um, to your soul realm, your mind, your will, and emotions, and it needs to be cast out. So fast and pray. Ask God to clean you of all unclean spirits. Ask God to uh, cleanse your family bloodline by the blood of Jesus, oil of heaven, fire of Yahweh, every high-ranking demon, low-ranking demon, generational curse, and demonic altar be cleansed off your family be broken off and smashed to bits in the name of Jesus Christ and then any unclean spirit ask God to clean you out of any unclean spirit as well in fasting and prayer preach the gospel of peace you know in Jesus name be led by the nudges of the Holy Spirit uh, for those of us that know better Jesus said unless you repent you'll perish um, and um, you know we need to repent take it seriously uh, in Jesus name and uh, preach the gospel if we really love God and we love people we have to tell them about Jesus and preach the gospel and we can't be afraid to talk about repentance either you know uh, but Jude 23 guys I don't have much time left Jude 23 um, so read that as well and be led by the nudge of the Holy Spirit as far as how to engage people 
um, in Jesus' mighty name. I love you guys. Stay close to the word of God in prayer daily. Amen.